Hey, welcome back to devgin.com. Um, I am new to Git, GitHub, and I thought the instructions were kind of long-winded for what I needed to do. So I wanted to create a GitHub account and post my code and be able to use code from one account to another. So from my MacBook to my PC, no problem. And I figured these instructions are kind of long, so let's go ahead and create a quick, quick tutorial so that you can uh, do it yourself. In other words, go to google.com and type in uh, download GitHub desktop or whatever, depends if you're a MacBook or not, it's gonna lead you to the site, go to the download page. I have a MacBook in front of me, so it's asking me to download the Mac. Follow those simple instructions, done. Um, maybe, actually, before you do that, just go to github.com and create an account. Create the account, which I've already done. It's simple, couple questions, boom, 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 done. Go to your account, and let's go to, uh, well, I'm already at my account. So down here, I have a new repository. This is where you click on new repository. This is where I want to store my code. Type in a name for it, temp. I'm creating a temporary repository. This is the temp description. Type it in, done. Now, the free ones are all public, so probably free, especially if you're new at it. So go ahead and use public and click on create, uh, create repository. You might want to put a readme on there as well. Not quite there yet, but Okay, repository is created. Done. See this right here where it says clone or download? You want to copy that. So copy that to your clipboard because now you've downloaded the, the desktop version of GitHub. You, you did all the installation. Forget about the desktop. Go back to your RStudio now, which is right here. Create a new project. File new project. Um, I don't need to save any of that. Actually, I probably should have. Version control is what you want to do. And then click on GitHub clone paste your URL in there. It usually puts a uh, directory in there, but I guess not here. I'll just put temp2. I don't know what I have on my desktop. I'm going to open it in a new session to start fresh. Hit create project. And you see all, a little bit of that. It was connected to GitHub. File, new file. I want a new R script. Let's bring in the library um, ISLR. And then let's uh, data1 equals the iris data okay and let's just print out something there we go done I've got some code I save it I hit control s save this code call it temp code save it we're good to go now how do we upload this to github on my MacBook it's option control M or you go to tools and then you go to version control and you say commit when you go to commit, it's going to ask you which files you want to commit. I want to commit them all to my GitHub repository. Click on all three of those. You must put a message in here. It won't allow you to do it without it. This is a temp file. Delete. It's for tutorial only. Got it? Hit commit. And it's doing its thing. Hit close. And then hit push. Click on that push button. And we'll see that it's going to be on our GitHub site. And the same thing's going to happen when you go to another computer or you want to uh, collaborate with somebody. Uh, so it looks like it's, it's done. So let's go to the site. Let's refresh this page and we'll see. See those files? My tempcode.r, my project file, my MD file, everything is there. So when you go to another computer, um, you run the same thing. Run the setup. Run the, uh, the GitHub desktop thing once just so that you can have it on there. And then click on clone. Copy that, go back to your R file, which is right here. And you would, um, what you could do is go to tools and you go to version control and you say pull branches. And it'll probably give you an error and say you've already had these files. So if you want to merge files from GitHub to your computer, as far as I know, I just picked this up yesterday. Uh, you simply delete the files that they're giving you error with, errors with. I think they're trying to avoid um, overriding your files, which is probably a good thing. But for my, what I need to get done is um, I just delete these files and click on pull. And then it pulls them no problem. Then you have your latest version of your code right there in front of you. Hope this video will help you at least get started.